Hello everyone, it's Farm 6710 and today we're doing a video on the Ford 6710 um, what we've done because we've restored it well, we've well, it's all exterior all restored and um, yeah I'm just going to talk about we've also resprayed the hedge cutter here so that's kind of that's kind of a side job, but uh, yeah, we have resprayed all the panels, all the cab. Uh, you might have seen my slideshow. It took two weeks, and uh, we resprayed the tires. I have the mask line, I masked all the windows up, so and the engine is also resprayed. We didn't have to take anything. We just resprayed it as it was. We just covered up a few filters and stuff. And then we went over it, you know, so we didn't really went to the trouble of taking off the cab at all. You might see some people like they go to a lot of effort, but as we weren't gonna bother because uh this is still in work and use, so uh there is bit here we uh put with uh buys upon and uh, there was bad rust. Take the bad look off it. We just really wanted to touch it up really but it looks quite good after all and uh, we've put the wheels back to original colour um, and we put blue weights blue weights so it looks way nicer now uh, it, it's not done by brush it's all everything is done by um, by the spray gun um, the, the hedge cutter isn't done by brush it's, it, is it's done by brush the hedge cutter is but um yeah the exhaust is done uh we haven't done anything mechanical to it as it's already mechanical sound mechanically sound um it is weeping a bit of oil at the injector here but it's not really that much other than that everything's really perfect and uh it got a new lift pump I think last year got a new clutch two years ago so it's got about it's gone through about three engines and uh, as you can see the clutch is really bad that's how you can tell how much work is done on the tractor by how much wear is on the clutch but uh yeah I was I was uh saying about getting a new like uh interior padding but it's quite expensive you know so but we are looking to uh get new upholstery for the seat here as like the the spring is good on the seat it's just the upholstery padding that needs done and uh, we are getting a new fan for it this fan is out of a Saab car and uh we've got a new one out of a Skoda so um it's a bit bigger it's like twice as big as this so yeah the bearing is quite good on it's quite bad on this so that's why that's why we're going to replace it but um yeah i will start it up for you now <laughs> so there's the head cutter there and um, they're the new levers we have them a good few years now, but they, they, uh, they were the original four four lever uh, lollipop sticks. So now we just have the two. So yeah, that that's quite a good job. Makes it quite easy now. You get used to it pretty quick. So that's about it. I have to say, really, like yeah. Like um, we haven't resprayed the back end yet, but it needs to be a bit power hosed. But uh, oh yeah, also something we painted the rams black, as uh, all the new headquarters have the rams black. So it looks quite good, I have to say. So let me know what you think. We also um took the guard for saw off it and looks uh the guard didn't do much justice for it so 
we took it off and if we were doing any saw work we'll put it back on um jim it has done a bit of verge mowing since we've uh redone it so that's why there might be a bit of specks of dirt and stuff on it but uh yeah thanks for watching and let me know what you think the job you've done on it and yeah so thanks for watching and see you next video bye for now so this is the spray gun we used it is a jefferson no it's a, it's a draper it holds quite a good bit of paint and you connect the compressor hose up to there and uh, basically the how it works is the paint connect, uh, connects to the with the air and just sprays it on so yeah it's, it's really good it worked for us didn't block up as long as you wash it up correctly it's ready for you to use next time so that's the key thing after using it you have to be Within the five minutes after you're finished using it, you have to have it all cleaned up as the paint will dry up and it'll just block up the next time you use it or Yeah, so you have to, the key the key thing is to keep uh washing up correctly. That's what we found and we used this tinners here, standard tinners. So yeah, that's what we found that helped that worked. We just that's the key to it, just to wash it up correctly and it's grand the next time you use it. So yeah, that's the spray paint, spray gun there.